Hi everyone! In this video we will create animation a la GIF embed video using only Adobe XD and Photoshop. In description under this video you will find Adobe XD file with this project and empty file with assets to recreate this tutorial step by step. So let's begin. In Adobe XD file you will find this information about assets for this project, this is Google font, a games info and Resident Evil trailer on YouTube. You can download this video from YouTube or use any other video you like. Now let's prepare our assets for this project. I have these two wallpapers. With holding Alt I duplicate this image and now I want to isolate this character from background. You have two options, you can send this image in Photoshop or just using pen tool in Adobe XD for isolating this element. At this moment I'm just make simple shape with pen tool and then we just create mask for this shape. Fill this shape with color. Now copy and paste my background. Shape on the top. Select these two layers and make mask with shape. In this case we will have this character isolated from this background. Now I want to uh, remove this character from background. I press right button, edit in Photoshop and we switch to Photoshop. Then I select Spot Healing Brush Tool and simple isolate, simple remove remove this character from background. Sometimes you can use clone stamp and when you will satisfied with a result just press Ctrl S and it will be saved in Adobe XD. Now we have our character isolated from this background in Adobe XD. Same technique I am use for my second wallpaper. This is background and isolated character. When you create mask with shape in Adobe XD you can easily edit this, double click and we have all these dots and we can edit this mask. When you are good with the result, click outside mask and we can use it in our project. Now let's create assets for Resident Evil game. When you download your trader, it will be simple mp4 file. I'm going to Photoshop and just drag and drop this file in Photoshop and we have this timeline. Now I need to find part of this trailer that I use in project, maybe like here, then drag from the left and find my end of this part maybe like here and crop for my last frame ok 
Okay, at this moment we have this part of trailer. Let's save this video. Okay, now I want to use this first frame for my project, but I need image. For this I'm duplicate this layer, Ctrl J, right click, merge group, and we have image our, for our first frame. Now I can export this, right click, export as, like JPG, export, and let's rename it resident background. Enter. And now I can isolate this character from this background. Let's create new document. Place this image to new document. Then I'm select pen tool. Check that you have path and just using this pen tool creating path for isolate this character then when you lock this path right click make selection ok and press ctrl J for new layer I hide this background and you know this character have no head but for Photoshop it's not a problem using pen tool and create a rare for future head again right click make selection okay then I select clone stamp tool and add our head Then we can add some shadows. I'm select brush tool and add more shadows. Okay, then right click, deselect it, and we have character with head. Oh, we have this hand. Mm, for this, I can choose this tool, polygonal lesser tool and quick make selection and press delete right click, deselect it and we have our isolated character place I think it will be fit but let's check must yeah, it's fit for our frame. Now let's go to our document and right click on this layer, export as PNG. Export as PNG. Press export and Let's rename it resident character. Save. Okay, we're done with these assets. Let's save this video document and now we can add these assets to our project. Now I'm add these assets to the project and let's make it fit with previous games resize and our character need to perfect fit with this background we can make opacity lower and let's resize maybe like this 
and now we prepared all these assets for each of game let's make characters bigger than background for more 3d effect and let's add these assets to the project i'm already prepared template we have a logo with font on left side we have month slider simple menu release date and titles and platforms for each of this game and more info like a button for next transitions i am holding alt and move these assets to the project move under all other layers and just resize and place it in right position maybe like this let's switch this graphic this will be more on center assassin create on the top like this now i want to add background for each of this game i i need to copy this backgrounds holding ctrl shift click 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 left button mouse then ctrl c ctrl v move behind all layers and make it bigger now we can add layer object blur for each of these layers and make it maximum then we can play with sizes that we like change opacity for each of these layers this and let's add border radius again I'm select my backgrounds and set border radius 50 okay now we can animate this page let's resize our board okay now we are ready for animate for easily animating i am group this game control g group this game and in this moment i need to tell you one important thing about animating in adobe xd in adobe xd when you move your layer outside your artboard they go to this pasteboard on this gray background but in animate we don't need it and now you need to remember that you must wired up your artboards with auto animate transition before you move your layers let me show what I mean let's go to prototype tab now we have these two artboards when we move this group outside artboards they go on pasteboard but now let's add our auto animate transition go on this auto animate easy in out and duration 2.5 Five. now when we move these layers your layers won't fly out onto the pasteboard and they still on this artboard we can move these groups 
like this and they still will be on this artboard. Now let's duplicate this artboard and transition and we easily can animate full page. I'm select all these layers, move up, select this animation, these layers, again move up. Now when we're going on our first artboard, press Ctrl Enter for desktop preview and when we click we will have this simple animation. Now let's make this animation more interesting. In this project I will use 3D transform and parallax effect. Let's start from 3D transform. With holding Ctrl Shift I select my backgrounds and go into the right panel, click on 3D transform and set X rotation maybe 55 and Y rotation minus 30. Cool. Now let's do the same with our characters. Hold Ctrl Shift and maybe a little bit maybe 4 on X rotation and minus 10 on Y rotation. Okay. Now let's create parallax effect. This will be my first screen, first artboard, and this will be my second artboard. On my first artboard, I'm select these layers and move groups and layers down for more deep effect. And on second screen, I select these layers and move up. In this case, we will have parallax effect for these two games. And background. Let's see how it looks. Oop, nice. Same I will do for these two artboards. Move these layers down. Background 2. And on these layers, this Resident Evil layers move up. Now let's see how it looks. Cool. Oh, we have this problem. Let's move this character and we can even re resize. If we have some problems like this, we can go to 3D transform and click on this center icon, move down and then we can easily resize. Let's check. It's working. Final touch. Let's see how it looks with all three games. Mm -hmm. Now we can make our AtomXD file more cleaner. We have viewport high 810 and let's set High for our artboard the same, 810, and we have these three simple screens. 
Okay, let's check our robots. If you have some problems like this, our layer behind this background, we can go to 3D transform and move these layers holding the center icon. Click and move up and down. Let's move this character. This background. Now we can move this text. Let's move this title. Same problem we have on this Assassin's Creed game. Just move this layer behind and text close to us. Now let's see how it looks. Final check. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Now we're gonna make our uh, GIF video animation for this Resident Evil game. I'm duplicate this artboard and let's go to prototype tab. From this button, wired up to next artboard. Set auto animate, easy in out, and duration 2 seconds. On my previous screen, I have this button, this is simple group with text and ellipse. I duplicate this ellipse, move down and set same fill with same color that my border. Then I'm copy and paste this button to my next screen. And on this screen Select these two ellipses, resize and move text to the center and rotate. On previous screen, this created ellipse, set opacity to zero. Now let's see how it looks. When we press on this button, we will see this animation. Now we need to reset this 3D transform. I am select background and character and set 0 on X and Y rotation. Now we need perfect fit our character with background. We can make opacity smaller. Now it's perfectly fit, then move to the left, date up and this title to the left. Now when we click on this button we will see this animation and from this screen we can go to our video. In Adobe XD file I have prepared this animation start artboard with some interface elements with zero opacity. Now I need to copy and paste this background and character and feed to this artboard. Now I'm select this background set corner radius to zero. Go into auto. I uh, go into prototype tab. Wired up. Trigger time delay zero. Auto animate is in out and duration two second. Let's see what we have. Oops. Press button. And if we have this problem, 
it means that some of these layers had same names in layers. For example, I have this background and background with blur, the same names. And in this case, you need to rename this background with blur to another name. I'm just add blur, copy this name, and we need rename this layer on our previous screens too. On this and on this screen. Let's check now work work and when we click on this button we will have this nice animation okay let's add transition from this screen to this we step out animate is in out two second okay now on our last screen we can add our other interface elements. Now let's add this date, copy and paste, move it to the left, release date, rotate, place like right here names title for this game move to the to this position and for PlayStation 5 information set opacity 100 and let's resize this title maybe this date smaller Okay, let's add a logo. In this menu we can add and move. Oh no, we can move up on this screen. Let's add our month. Copy and paste on this screen. Move to the left. And set opacity to zero. Now let's add this cover on previous screen. Go into 3D transform, rotate, move to the right, set opacity to zero. This button, copy and paste, rotate, move to the right, set opacity to zero trailer and purchase button copy and paste on previous screen trailer move to the left and in 3d transform rotate like here set opposite to zero purchase rotate move to the right set opposite to zero now let's check how it looks Yeah, we have this transition back and when we click on this button we will have all these transitions nice for video animation go back to photoshop and delete these layers from trailer i have this part and i need export frames from this video. Go to File, Export, Render Video and in this part we have Photoshop Image Sequence. Select Folder and press Render. Now I have all these frames. In my case it will be 25 frames 
and now we need to create 25 artboards for each of these frames. Ok, I'm just duplicating this artboard and delete all layers and now we can make it into ways uh, we can you know, copy this artboard press ctrl D and make this 25 artboards but when we go to prototype we must you know for each of these artboards add transitions but but we can have make it in other way I'm just copy this artboard then I wired up with trigger time delay zero transition and animation dissolve easing none and duration press zero now I can copy these artboards and in this case I need to connect or wired up only these two artboards now we have four artboards again duplicate the artboards and connect only these two artboards have eight you know I'm create will be 24 yeah, yeah 24 I'm copy four artboards and wired up these two now I can copy all these artboards and connect only these two artboards ok now let's add frames to these artboards now I'm just drag 24 frames and drop in Adobe XD let's split and I need my frames same size as my artboard I'm copy high from artboard select my frames and paste high to these frames then I'm using distribute horizontally select all these frames and apply distribute horizontally same for second portion distribute horizontally and place it in our boards selling these frames and again place in these our boards cool now we need add this interface in each of this artboard it's super simple let's copy these groups and layers ctrl c then i'm selecting these artboards and press ctrl v select these artboards ctrl v and we have this interface in each of these artboards now I want to add fade in in black from my last robot to my first robot for this I'm going to my last robot create rectangle go into 3d and make it closer make color dark with all my last robot it will be with zero opacity then I'm copy and paste on previous screen with zero opacity copy and paste on my first artboard with zero opacity too now I need to add in prototype tab transition from last artboard to first artboard with time zero delay and duration one second 
between these artboards and make duration one second two. And now, if we do everything right, when we connect these two artboards with trigger time delay zero transition type transition animation dissolve using none duration zero we will have our animation let's check one two three go back press button and we have this animation fade in and go to our first artboard that's all i hope you like it don't be shy like subscribe and follow me on instagram behance and rebel accounts have a nice day and see you next time.